Hello friends and welcome to another video. This one's a special one because I've never made a video solely dedicated to one product but this is something that I'm really excited for and I'm going to be doing an unboxing and a review right here for you guys if you happen to be interested in this. Disclaimer, I'm not sponsored and I was not paid to do any of this. This is just out of my own free will and just because I'm so excited for this product. So let's start with a backstory. If you don't want to hear this, I'll put a timestamp and you can just skip ahead to the juicy stuff. But basically, I've been wanting a so-called standing desk or support for my laptop for a long time because I spend so many hours on my laptop, especially now in school, that it gets really annoying. I get really restless and sometimes it's just good to stand up and do my work. Then I was looking online for some cheap laptop stands that mimicked a standing desk because standing desks are expensive and there is no space in my house for it. And I came across this brand called Moft and they did have a standing support but at the time it was a kickstarter so I was pretty disappointed. Recently when I was looking for my earring stand, somehow I came across the Moth Z. Yes, it's Moth Z because it's in the shape of a Z, the stand itself. And I was shocked because they were actually selling and producing it as an actual product. So I guess the Kickstarter went through successfully. But of course, the actual product is very expensive. I think on Shopee itself, it's about 70 to 80 Singapore dollars. And I don't have the money for that. So I found a dupe which didn't have a lot of sales, but the reviews were not bad. And it was only $22. Here it is. So as you can see, it doesn't have the Moth Z brand or labeling, but we're gonna see if it works right now. I'm not promoting the brand here, but I'm just gonna tell you guys what this stand can do. So basically, the original is called Moth Z 5-in-1 adjustable stand. So as you can see, it, this is the highest I believe, which is 25cm and then you can adjust it accordingly for your tablets or your laptop and put it at a comfortable angle for you to use your products. So enough talking, let's get to unboxing. Alright, so I changed the angle because you guys can't see it well if I film in the regular way. So as you guys know, I love blue, so I had to order the blue version and at first when I took the package out, I was a bit surprised because at first I thought it was black and then I saw the side is blue. So you have all these flaps that you can adjust to fit the height and angle at which you want the thing to be, but it's a bit complicated and it doesn't come with instructions, so I'm going to watch a few videos and I will try out the one that I want to try the most which is the laptop stand at 25cm. Alright, so I finally figured out how to do this. At first it's a bit confusing but I guess eventually when you do it a few times it will be muscle memory. You can find a video on YouTube so I'm not going to do a tutorial here on how to fold it but I will give you my review of at least the one that I was looking forward to the most which is the highest standing version. So before I start my own review, this is the official video on how to fold it. So I'm just gonna compare this to what I have now. Basically this part, which is the support for most of the other angles like the 30, the 40 and the 60 degree angle is not magnetic but in the video I think it is so that's kind of a bummer because for the other angles I'm pretty sure if you put your device it will slip just because there's no support yeah so let's try this one out so I currently have it in the standing position first impressions this part is a bit far so it doesn't really look very stable to me but let's just put my laptop on this and we'll try it out I am genuinely a bit scared. Hold on, let me push this inside a bit more. And I'll just put it on like that. Yes, so as you can see, 
it is pretty wobbly which I'm not sure if this is normal or not I've seen other videos that did say it's a bit wobbly but for the most part it was stable enough to hold their laptop up mine is a notebook I guess so it's honestly not that heavy but allegedly this thing can hold up to 22 kgs worth so maybe a gaming computer this is a very unglamorous angle but I'm gonna try and type and let's see if you guys can see this thing shaking from this angle back at the video I just showed you and yes you can see the shaking a little bit and I did try different speeds and different strengths of typing so at the beginning I was hovering my wrists above my laptop but to mimic the experience of me using my notebook normally I put my wrist down on the sides and the laptop didn't fall off so I guess it's a success I'm just gonna do a quick review of the other angle so you guys can see what it looks like so this is the official 25 degree angle so i just want to point out that as you can see in the video there's these little flaps here these are meant for preventing your device from slipping which is absent right here and from the video it seems like this part is magnetic and this is how it actually looks like if i touch it it moves and it falls yeah, so now. So next up is the 35 degree angle. As you can see, this small part, which I mentioned earlier, is folded down and it's not coming up. So that leads me to believe that it's actually magnetic. Let's compare it against this tube. This is not staying. So if you do put your device on this, I feel like this thing's gonna slip. Yeah, and just fall like that. Next is the 45 degree angle. As you can, I don't know why I moved to the side, but as you can see, the part I told you about earlier is sticking to the bigger flap. I don't see you sticking. Yeah, so I'm not gonna put my device on this either. Last but not least, the 60 degree angle. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm not sure whether the thinness of the real product is thinner than the one I have now, but it kind of looks like it. Once again, as you can see, the flap is sticking to the bigger flap. Um, I don't even know what to say about this, honestly, so no chance of me putting my device on this side. You'll be glad to know I'll only be using the standing version and it's only $22. I mean, I'm not really missing out on much. Okay guys, so I decided to take a risk and try the 25 degree angle and I don't know if you can see this small flap that I showed you earlier is resting between the grooves. Wait. Alright, I can't focus but yes, it's resting between the grooves and I did try typing and it's working well but honestly feels like it's holding on to the power of divine beings to stay up so it's definitely a very comfortable angle though but is it really worth the risk of the whole thing just falling down at once? I'm not sure. I honestly really like this product because the height is pretty good. At first I thought it was going to be a bit short but I am standing right now and this is, my hands are about somewhere below chest level. It's really comfortable and I'm gonna have lots of fun staying awake while doing assignments or attending online lectures. I will link this product down in the description below if you guys are interested in getting one because honestly, I think it's a pretty good product. I guess the only downside is that it's not adjustable like those metal ones, but then again, I do want to be able to carry this with me, at least from home to hall. Probably not going to use this in public because it attracts way too much attention. And weight-wise, when you fold it and hold it, it's not exactly super light, but it's definitely light enough and thin enough to just slip into your laptop bag. 
plus it's only $20 and I mean I don't have the real product to compare this against but honestly what a steal thank you guys for watching this video do let me know down below in the comments if you plan to get one for yourself or any feedback regarding my review because i'm not a professional reviewer i'm just doing this for fun and also because i genuinely was so excited for this product and i'm so happy it's here if you've come to this point you are the real mvp and i'll see y'all in the next one